Hi everyone, my name is Reverend Sherry James and I am the Assistant Minister at Up Church where the Reverend Dr. Della Reese Lett is the minister and the founder. And I am coming to you in a different format this week. I normally do a written blog post, but this time I'm doing a vlog. And I did something a little different because I woke up yesterday to the news, you know, I, I got up, I was getting ready to do my morning meditation. I picked up my phone, which I tell myself not to do before you start to do your meditation, like go to God first, but I picked up my phone first and looked at it and saw that um, Dr. Maya Angelou made her transition. And my heart was filled both with sadness, um, but then also knowing that she, uh, joy in a different way, knowing that she is on to her next assignment. And throughout the day, uh, different people posted just amazing things. I mean, literally, there, I felt like there was this party happening on Facebook with men and women from all walks of life, from all races, who were just celebrating her and acknowledging her. And I know that her life has touched so many people. She certainly touched my life. Um, I learned about her through my mom, who is a English professor in Houston, and we celebrated for years around the words that she would write and we used them to inspire us, to motivate us, to uh, keep going, to reach for more. And so it just seems fitting that instead of doing a regular blog post that I would do this week, that I would just take a minute to just acknowledge this phenomenal woman, um, how amazing it is that we got to grace the planet at the same time that she did. I mean, that is just huge. I, I belong to a Wednesday night circle. And one of the things that uh, was said last night, and we get together on the last Wednesday of every month, and uh, I, one of the, the men in the group said, you know, what's interesting is that years from now, when they're talking about her, we will have had a very real experience with her. Like she won't be someone that we just read about in a textbook, but our lives were personally touched by her. And you gotta be grateful for that. You gotta be grateful that you got a chance to see her, even if you never got a chance to personally meet her, that for the space and time that she walked the planet, that we were here together. And so I'm so grateful for her. So there's another friend, new friend of mine, uh, that also shared some words with me that I thought were just absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to share those words with you. And so I'm gonna post them also, a transcript of them, in the you know with the video so you'll see them down below but i wanted to read them aloud to you and they come from the dr deborah lauren schultz who is a professor at ucla and also at santa monica college and her words are so beautiful so um i haven't memorized them so unfortunately you're going to see me looking down and not at the camera but that's because i'm reading dr schultz's words and i think that they're just um, they're phenomenal, and I think that you will get a sense of how special she is as a writer, um, as was Dr. Angelo. And so this is what she writes, in memoriam for Dr. Maya Angelo. God has blessed us for nearly a century with the wisdom, candor, and vision of Dr. Maya Angelo. This truly singular and phenomenal woman has expanded our minds touched our hearts, warmed our souls, exhorted us to be better human beings for the good of all person kind. Better thinkers, better builders of a more welcoming and compassionate youth, better sharers of a small and straining planet. Kind people, loving people. People O-P-E-N to engaging with another. Bold enough to look straight into another face from another place and filled with grace, to dare with hope and faith to S-M-I-L-E with the hope of a basic, humane, human, pleasant, polite, ordinary reaction to say to another human being simply, good morning. Therein lies the genius, the poet, the sage, the humanitarian, the philosopher, the feminist, 
the theologian, the civil life leader, the teacher, the preacher, the doctor of H-U-M-A-N-E letters that has been, is, and always will be Dr. Maya Angelou. In our minds, our hearts, our souls. When we too leave this place and finally go home, we leave as better people because she has been here and we have heard her. Through her words, her heart, her mind, and the all abiding kindness in her soul. My students have heard and read aloud her words in my college classes for 40 years. We will not forget her. Great writers, thinkers, presidents, and kings have invited her to speak her truth in venues throughout this small and giant world. They and their citizens will not forget her. She has proclaimed the people of this planet to be a human family. All who have heard this statement of the truth that we proclaim in our hearts and in houses of worship weekly will never forget this great woman and friend to all of the human family. May this phenomenal woman rest forever in the hands of the Lord and his angels. May she S-I-N-G, not as any caged thing, but as a free bird on a dawn bright lawn who claims the sky as her own, God bless and keep forever, hold close to his heart, our phenomenal, unforgettable, amazing Maya Angelou. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen.